Hello everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Here at eTrailer, we install, test, and review a lot of different products to help you as a customer make a more educated decision before your purchase. Today we're going to be working on a 2018 Lexus RX 350L, and we're going to be taking a look at, and I'll be showing you how to install, Draw Tights Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. Adding a hitch to the back of your Lexus is really going to open up your options. You're going to be able to add a bike rack and get those bikes off of your roof or out of your trunk, making more room for your passengers or your cargo. You're going to be able to use a cargo carrier, getting that luggage again off of your roof or out of the back of your car, making more room for you and your passengers. And you're even going to be able to tow a trailer. So it's really going to open up your options for all of your outdoor adventures. The only thing that's going to be visible is going to be our receiver tube opening. Our cross tube is totally concealed that runs along the back of our frame rails. So it's going to look nice and factory while keeping that same sporty look. This is a class 3 hitch, so it's going to offer us that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. And that's really good because this is a very common size. So finding a ball mounted accessory is going to be super simple. And one thing I do like is going to be this reinforced steel collar. It just gives it a nice finished look while also adding some stability. Our hitch is going to offer us a standard 5 8 inch pinhole. Now you do want to keep in mind a pin and clip do not come included, but you can find them here at eTrailer. We are going to have the nice rolled style safety chain loops, and these are really one of my favorite styles because they play well with all different kinds of safety chains. So you're not going to have to worry about changing your chains out on your trailer. And another cool feature you're not going to get with a lot of the other options is going to be the second hole here. This second hole is for a J-Pen stabilization device, and basically it just goes through there applying pressure to your ball mounted accessory, cutting down on all that rattling. And you can find one of those here at eTrailer.com. Our hitch is going to be a steel construction, so it's going to hold up really good for a long time. It's also going to have a nice powder coat finish to help resist rust and corrosion as well. So it's going to look nice and function well for a really long time. And one thing I like about this hitch is going to be this pre-welded bracket for our wiring. So we can just bolt our four-way, our five-way, our six-way, or our seven-way directly to our hitch. Now we can get you a few measurements to help you understand where this hitch is going to sit on the back of your Lexus. From the ground to the uppermost part of our receiver tube opening, we're going to be sitting at about 16 inches. You want to keep this number in mind for your ball mount in the rise or lower position and just standard ground clearance. And from the center of our pinhole to the outermost part of our fascia, we're sitting at about an inch and a half, and this number is important for any folding accessories. Because you want to make sure that those aren't making contact with your rear bumper. And as far as our weight capacities are concerned, we are going to have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Now you do want to keep in mind that's going to be the weight of the trailer and the load included on the trailer. And then as far as our tongue weight rating, we are going to have 500 pounds of available tongue weight rating. That's going to be 500 pounds pushing straight down on your receiver tube opening. Now it's very important you want to check with your Lexus's owner's manual and make sure that your vehicle is capable of towing at those capacities. And if it's not, always go with the lowest number between the two. And as far as install, getting the hitch installed really isn't too bad. Just had to do some minor trimming. There's no drilling or welding or anything like that. It's definitely something that you guys could do at home. With that being said, I'll walk you through the installation now. To start our installation, we're going to be working under the rear of our Lexus. We're going to have some pushpin fasteners to remove. We're going to do that with a small flat blade screwdriver. To start, we need to remove this little tab. It's going to be fastened on with two fasteners. We'll take that flathead screwdriver, push it underneath, just kind of turn that to open up that fastener. I'm going to have to hit it from a couple different angles. And once it's like that, we can get our trim panel tool on there and just pop that out. Then to remove this, you just kind of pull it back. And there's a tab in here that catches there. So when you pull it out, it'll just release. Then we need to remove our underbody panel. We're going to have two pushpin fasteners down here on the bottom. We'll remove those just like we did on the other side. We're not going to have a 10 millimeter screw that we need to remove. We also need to remove this 10 millimeter fastener. We also need to remove this 10 millimeter fastener in the corner. If you follow this underbody panel uh, by your spare tire, there's going to be two 12 millimeter fasteners that we need to remove. We 
And we are going to have a hidden push pin fastener behind our wheel well liner. As you can see, it's right back there. So we'll take that out with the trim panel tool and flat blade screwdriver. We can now remove our underbody panel. We now need to lower down our exhaust and we're going to support it using a cam buckle strap. You can find cam buckle straps here at E-Trailer. We're going to take one of our hooks, put it on our coil spring, run it over to the other side, do the same thing. We should relieve some of that tension. Now we just want to cinch this down against our exhaust. We now need to remove this rubber isolator of our exhaust. We're going to spray this down with some lubricant. And we can grab the pry bar and get that off there. You'll want to take your pry bar, set it against your exhaust, then just pry backwards. Just like that. Then we can loosen some tension off of our strap. Then we need to remove this isolator as well. Get that sprayed down with some lubricant and pry it off. Now we can relieve some tension off of our cam buckle strap just to get some more clearance with our exhaust. We're now ready to remove our tow hook. It's going to be fastened to our frame rail with two 7 millimeter bolts, or 17 I should say. So let's get those removed. And we will not be reinstalling our tow hook. Now we come over to the driver's side, we need to remove those same bolts out of our frame rail. We're not going to trim out these panels here, but before we do so, we're going to remove our push pins. We'll do this on both sides. Following our diagram and the instructions, I trimmed our panel here. Now it's kind of hard to get in here with a rotary tool or a small jigsaw, but with this plastic, if you just take a sharp utility knife and kind of follow your lines real carefully and slowly go deeper and deeper with your cut, you can get it to break off on that line. And for your sides, you can use some tin snips just to make the process a little quicker. We are going to have to trim off this tab because it is going to come into contact with our hitch. So we're just going to follow this line with our utility knife and get that trimmed off. We now want to pop out our rubber tabs on our frame rail. We'll just do this with a small flat bladed screwdriver. If you come to your passenger side underbody panel, Kind of follow that up the frame rail. There's going to be a bracket right as right above your muffler. We just want to take that 17 millimeter nut out. We need to remove this bracket on our passenger side underbody panel. We're just going to take out this 10 millimeter bolt. And before we raise our hitch, we want to get our hardware prepared. We're going to grab our hex bolt provided, slide our conical tooth washer, washer over it, and we want those teeth facing up towards our hitch. Now with an extra set of hands, we can get our hitch lifted up into position. We are now ready to get the rest of our hardware installed. We now want to come back with a 19 millimeter socket and just get our hardware snug down. We're now ready to come back and torque everything down to the amount specified in our instructions. And you want to make sure to reinstall your exhaust hangers. Then don't forget to remove your cam buckle strap. We're now ready to reinstall our underbody panel. However, our customer doesn't want this reinstalled. But when you do it at home, there's gonna be a diagram in your instructions that shows you where to trim, and it's roughly right along here. So if you just follow that diagram in your instructions, you'll be able to get this trimmed out, no problem. Then you'll reinstall it in the reverse order we took it apart. If you're not reinstalling that panel, or even when you are, just you wanna make sure that you get your hardware back and your wheel well. That way this liner isn't flopping around and making a bunch of noise. 
And that's going to do it for our look at and our installation of Draw Tights Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on our 2018 Lexus RX 350L.